Hello, I am Seema and welcome to video 4 of the chapter Periodic Classification of Elements. In this video, I intend to tell you about the naming, the IUPAC nomenclature of elements which have atomic numbers greater than 100. Before I come to the actual modern periodic table, it's important to know that there were 94 naturally occurring elements. And beyond these, the elements have artificially been prepared or some elements are still being uh, discovered by scientists. And it requires a lot of effort for elements beyond uh, the atomic number 100. And even if they have been obtained, they've been obtained in traces, sometimes just a few atoms of an element may be discovered or may be uh, prepared. And therefore, the scientist really wants to claim it as his work. And they want the names of these elements to be, or they want these elements to be named after them. But that sometimes creates controversy when two scientists who are working so hard end up uh, creating the same element. For example, the element 100 and, uh, 112 is called Roentgenium. This is this is uh, this was called Roentgenium by Americans, while the uh, Russians they call it Kurchatonium, Kurchatobium. So, uh, two scientists who claim to have discovered this element, in order to remove such controversy. The International Union of Pure and Applied Chemistry decided that we would have a systematic way of naming these elements so that uh, any such dispute could be avoided. So what this systematic way of naming is, let me explain that. The digits were given certain names and certain abbreviations. And the names of these elements beyond 100 were given according to these digits, that is according to their atomic number. 0 was known as nil, 1 is un, 2 is bi, 3 is tri, 4 is quad, 5 is pent, 6 is hex, 7 is sept, 8 is oct and 9 is n. These, the first alphabet becomes the first digit to n, u, b, t, q, p, h, s, o and e. So when you're writing the name of an element, for example, it is 101, 101, you write un, nil, un, and you end it with ear. So it will be the name of the element 101 would be, it always starts, a, a name starts with a capital letter, so you start with the capital letter. It is, one is un, so un, zero is nil, so it will be nil, and one is again un, so it will be un, and you'll end it with I-U-M. So the name of this element would be un nil anium, right? And what would the symbol be then? U is for un, N for nil, and U. U and U will be the symbol of this element. The next element is 102nd element. What would its name be? One is un, zero is nil, and 2 is by, so it would be un nil by here. We will not put two i's because there are two vowels there. So un nil by here and the symbol would be u n b. Element number 103 would be un nil trium and the symbol would be u n t. The fourth, 104th element would be un, nil, quadium, q, u, a, d, i, u, m, un, nil, quadium, u, n, q. And what would 15th, 105 be then? It would be un, nil, pentium, un, nil, hexium, un, nil, septium, un, nil, octium, un, nil, enum, and un, un, nilium. 110 now would be un, un, nil, ium, right? And the symbols would also be u, n, 6 is hexia, sorry, pent is p, u, n, p, u, n, q, h, pent, quadium, pentium, hexium, 
U N S would be septium, U N O would be octium, U N E would be uh, enium, that is 109, and un, 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 nilium would be 110. So it would be U U N would be the symbol of the element. And the next would be un, how nice, 111, all the uns together. Un, un, unium. So you, you, you. <laughs> so that's the symbol of the element. Now, do you see these asterisks and the pluses here? The elements up to 111 are definitely known and they are they have their names too. But when you come to 112, that is Rontgenium. These are elements which have asterisks are the ones which are whose names are still under controversy. They have been discovered, but the names the scientists have not still arrived at a common agreement on their names and therefore there is an asterisk and we would prefer to use this nomenclature for these elements. And the elements which are shown by the plus sign that is 113th element, 115th, 117th and 118th, they would be the ones that have not yet been discovered but we expect them to be discovered or to be prepared by scientists and the names are again under consideration but these names from 112 onwards Rontgenium, Nihonium, Flavovium, Moscovium, Livermorium, Tennessine and Organesson. These are the names which are still being considered but till they, a name has actually been decided on we can continue to use these names and these symbols. So I would, uh, I would suggest you could pause the video and fill up the rest of the names and the symbols here and it would be practice for you. So just by uh, writing the two names and the last name adding IUM to it you get the name and the three uh, abbreviations would make the symbol of the element. So this is something that you should know before we actually come to the modern periodic table and the modern periodic law. So in the next video, I'll tell you about that. Thank you for watching. Please return for more videos in chemistry. And if you liked it, if it helped you, like my video and subscribe to my channel and ask your friends to watch these videos too. Bye-bye.